Okay, I think I have something really cool to show you here. Now, I just have some demo material here. And what I have is I have a timeline that just has one piece of uh, Pond 5. I think it's a Pond 5 uh, sample clip. And then it has um, two titles here. Now, here is a lower third in German, and here is a lower third in English. Now, if I look at both of them, obviously, I'm never going to see something like this. But this is for this is a technique to use for what um, is commonly called localization. Quite often, we will do um, two different versions of a video, and you know, I might do. I'll be initially editing it in English, and I'll have you know version seven, eight, nine, ten, and then boom, okay, this is the one we want, version eleven, and then we have to go through and strip out all the graphics and put them all in in another language, and sometimes with a um, with another um, audio track. So here's a trick. Um, what I have uh, in my timeline, in the lower left-hand corner, you have your timeline index. And when you open that guy up, if you come over here and you click on roles, it gives you access to the various roles that you have for your video. Now, I don't have any audio in this. Um, otherwise, I would see an audio role. And there's certain things that as you bring them into your project, they automatically get assigned to separate to different roles. But it's important to remember you can make multiple roles. So if I unclick my video here, you can see my video disappears. It is as though I hid the video or I made it inactive, which would be like selecting this and hitting a V to turn it off. The problem is, and this is a real gotcha, problem is that you think if you're going to export this that you're going to get it without the picture um, or whatever thing you have unchecked off and it doesn't actually work that way. So here's the trick. First of all, I need to make a role for each set of titles. Now currently, both titles, you see if I check this on and off, both titles come and go with that, and that's because they're both assigned to the titles role. So the first thing I'm gonna do, just because I'm English-centric, I'm going to leave the English as a, um, a title role, and then I'm gonna come up in here into modify, edit roles, and I'm gonna make a new role. I'm gonna come up here under video roles, hit plus, new video role, and I'm gonna call it, um, I'm gonna call it translation. Translation, okay? And now I might call it German, I can call it whatever I want, but I'm gonna call it translation, I'm gonna click okay. Now, you notice nothing has changed down here, and that's because I, I don't have anything s assigned to the translation role. So I'm gonna select this clip and then go modify, assign roles. Now watch what happens when I select translation. I get a new, um, what's it called? A new role down in my timeline indicator. Good grief, all these names. Now, um, there's another feature of the roles. If I uncheck these guys like this or de-check them like that, it actually makes that track less prominent in the timeline. So let's say you're totally done dealing with your titles. I can go check like that and it just makes it a smaller thing, it makes it a little easier to work. But for the sake of what we're doing here, we're just going to have these all turned on. Now, here's the cool thing. I have titles, watch my program monitor, I can turn off the English or I can turn off the translation, okay? And again, I can call these things anything I want. Now, it comes time to export your movie. Now, you would think, although I mentioned, you know, I could just turn off the translation and export this and I would just get the English, but it doesn't work that way. So this is what you do. File, share, master movie default. Okay, now what do we have? We have our info and settings. And you know, there's a lot of stuff. You know, most people don't realize, well, I don't know most. I know I was pleasantly surprised when I found that I could hover over this. It also tells you little things. It's a second, seven second movie, ooh, real long. It gives you your frame rate, your frame size and stuff like that. But I'm gonna click on the settings thing and this is where it gets really interesting. So export roles as. Huh? Okay, now, actually, this is where you would go audio or video if you just wanted to kick out your sound file to maybe send it to After Effects. But check this out. Export roles as. What do we got here? Multi-track QuickTime movie. Huh? What's that mean? Trust me on this. Select this guy, and look what I get. I currently have a version of the movie that's going to go out with the video, the titles, and the translation. Hmm. That's interesting. What does that mean? 
Well, I can come in here and check on and off any one of these things. Okay, what else can I do here? If I come down here and say separate files, look what I get. I get one export for each version of the video titles. Now that's not exactly what I wanna do, but watch this. What I'm gonna do is on this one, I'm gonna go, I wanna export the video and the titles. And on this one, I wanna export the video and the translation, but not the titles. Oh, very interesting. Two different versions of the video. And then on this one, the translation, which is just translation only, which I definitely don't wanna export, I'm just gonna delete that. Okay, at this point, if I hit next, this is where I actually get to export. Now, this is saving as exporting roles. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna be named, but let's give it a go. This is a very short movie. When I hit save, it's gonna actually export these guys. Oh no, look at that, it looks like it's already done. So I can hit close, and now let's go check out our two movies in the finder. So I'm gonna open up the thing. Sorry, I could have had this a little bit more organized. Come down here, and what do we have? Exporting roles. Now, I'm not crazy about these titles, but look what it's done for me. Exporting roles titles, which should be my English lower third. Look at that. Exporting roles translation, which should be my German lower third. Look at that. In one export, I've been able to export each and every iteration of the video that I want. Now, here's something that's really important about what we just did. If I go back to my share menu, let's see if these are still there. Settings, separate files, yes they are. Well, no, it's, it's, it's gone back to what it was. So now let's fix this again. So I wanna do video and titles on one, and I wanna do video and translation, but not titles, and I wanna just pitch this one. Now, look what I have here. I can save, oh, save as a preset, and I could call this all languages. Is that how you spell languages? Nah, I think it's a, a all languages. Click save, and now I have a preset. So if I hit cancel, and and now it's like, you know, sometimes at the end of a video, you're sort of rushed and you just want to like, oh, I got to get this stuff out. So you can, when you have some downtime earlier in the project, you can say, oh, I'm going to have to export all these things. So I go like this. I go to my settings. I go to my all languages. Look at that. There they are. Hit next. Hit go. Yeah, I'll replace those, replace both of them. And now it's going to take just a moment to export. And there they are done. Go out to the finder, and there's my two videos, one in English and one in German. So another very powerful use of roles and understanding some of the detail that is in the export master file window. Later, later.